Is? Nope. It's a school, Islamic school. Islamic school, so Islamic school we also want, we are seeing today. So We're going to yeah. go and see some of the most beautiful Islamic schools in the world today. Yeah. Today. Okay, you ready to go? Yay! Okay, let's go. This is Registan Square, one of the most impressive Islamic squares in the world. between the 1400s and to the 1600s. I must say, it's very beautiful. We have seen a lot of mosques and madrasas now, but this one is definitely special. And again, it's so amazing with the blue and turquoise colors and, and the patterns on the building. And it's, it's so big and yeah, it is really amazing. Now you can see the three madrasas in, in uh, I want to say, easy schools in Islamic but my favorite one of them is that one because it has a special shape. Again, wonderful symmetrical design. All Islamic uh, mosques and uh, madrasas we've seen, they follow the same symmetrical design concepts. Uh, you can see what's shown on the one side is mirrored on the other side of the uh, madrasa here. Uh, also, the patterns you see on the walls as well are also mirrored. This is tiles, the same as we can see in Iran, and here they have the same in Samarkand. Inside the courtyard of the Tilla Mori Madrasa. So, this is inside the Tilla Kori Mosque, a small mosque that's on uh, inside the complex. With absolutely amazing, it's all uh, gilded with uh, gold leaf. Absolutely unbelievable sight.
from Iran to here, which we didn't expect, is that people just walk around in normal clothes and shorts is okay, short skirts is okay, and t-shirts are okay, so totally unexpected. That it was just in the old days it was Islamic school here in these madrasas because now it just seems to be souvenir shops and all the little rooms. Let's move on from Rajasthan Square then to the next attraction. I have to walk through some nice green parks that are surrounding it. <laughs> Quite a few weddings going on here. For an evening walk here to the mosque. Okay, so this huge mosque in front of me now, this is one of the most important monuments here in Samarkand. This is called the Bibi Kanun Mosque. This was built in 1404 and uh, at that time this was the biggest mosque and the most beautiful mosque in the whole of the Islamic world. So it actually fell into ruins, it's only uh, 25 years ago this was rebuilt. Pictures of this from 100 years ago just showed you in a, in a mass of ruins. Okay, so this mosque here, this was actually built by Timur, who ruled over the whole of Central Asia. He actually built it for his wife, Bibi Kamur. Okay, this was built uh, of uh, India, Iran people and uh, Azerbaijan people. And they were slaves, slaves, how do they, slaves, yeah, for this place. And there was also 95 elephants from India. So, and so the elephants carrying big marble stones, you can see over here, big marble, look like that, mm. the elephants carrying. They were actually on the roof here, on pillars here, they used to stand here, and they were up on the roof to protect this uh, place from snow. It actually be minus 20 here in the winter, so. Until 1960 something, this place was totally in ruins. And now it has been rebuilt and they're still working on reconstructing it. Um, and they're restoring the inside of the mosque over here. And afterwards then they will start on the inside of the mosque here. So probably Uzbekistan will be a big tourist country in the future, I think. With all this work that they're doing on Yeah, doing a lot of work to restore yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Because even myself, I was surprised when I came here how uh, new and modern it looks. Because I've been watching videos on YouTube that are only five, ten years old. And it looked nothing like what it does today. It's all completely new and renovated and a very clean place. Nothing what I expected, but yeah. Only a few years ago, this place was in the ruins and a building site.
Play, play, be careful slowly. First open, first open, three notes, three close. Yeah, be careful. Play the present for kids. Football. it for now? Um, some people take, uh, ladies take, they go in there and take the arms out and so they hope they will have a, a, a baby. baby, babies, many babies. Genghis Khan actually destroyed all of Samarkand and uh, was actually rebuilt by Timur. Yes, Timur was the, the man that rebuilt this city and uh, he ruled over the whole of Central Asia. And Samarkand used to be the capital of Central Asia. So we managed just to have a quick look at the Bibi Kanu Mosque here just as the sun is setting actually. It's a little bit dark in here now. So maybe we'll come back here tomorrow and get uh, some better pictures of it in the, in the sunlight. But, uh, it's actually nice walking around here in the cool of the evening now. Just uh, got the place to ourselves, really. So uh, that was really interesting. That's quite nice, actually. Peace and quiet, just walking around here. So, that's it now. I think we'll get something to eat, and uh, that'll be it for today. Two attractions we've seen. So um, that was a good day. Persian restaurant here just next to the to the mosque there. It's a really good place to eat. In here. Suti and Sweet is and it is an English program and now I want to show you what Sweet and Suti is. And Sue. Sue. Everyone <laughs> in Uzbekistan drive in this car. Suti car. 